Hi guys and welcome. I'm Philip English from RoboPhil.com and on this video we're doing an interview with Mike Fair from Rethink Robotics. We managed to speak to Mike at the IREX 2015 robot exhibition in Tokyo, Japan. When Rethink Robotics founder Rodney Books was producing the Roomba vacuum at iRobot in the 2000s, he saw firsthand how challenging and inefficient the offshore manufacturing process could be. By the end of the decade, he founded Rethink Robotics with the intent of providing an entirely new type of automation to manufacturers. One that was safe to work with next to without cages, easily and manually trainable by non-engineers, flexible enough to move quickly from job to job without an integrator, and affordable for companies of all sizes. That vision was realised with the introduction of Baxter in 2012, followed by Sawyer in 2015. Well, hi guys, uh, Philip English. Uh, we're with uh, Mike Fair, who's from Rethink Robotics, and uh, we're just going to get a, a quick overview, uh, obviously, about their new robot that we're very, very uh, excited about. Um, so first off, um, Mike, can you introduce yourself and tell us a little bit more about the company? Sure. Uh, my name is Michael Fair. I'm Application Sales Manager at Rethink Robotics. We're headquartered in Boston, Massachusetts. The company's been around since 2008. We originally uh, came out with our first product, Baxter, which has been available in the market uh, for the last three years, and the Baxter Research Robot, which, be, which has been available in the UK. And very shortly, we'll, we'll be bringing Sawyer, our new high-performance robot, to the market in the UK as well. Okay, well, this is it. It sounds very, very exciting, and this is what we've been waiting for. Um, so we know that Baxter has been in the education field, and there's, I've been to a few unis around the UK, and I've seen it there, and it's been exciting to see the next step now, really. Um, the first question, so why has this got one arm and Baxter's only got two arms? That's a great question. Uh, so when we introduced Baxter, uh, Baxter is uh, very big in stature yep. and he takes up a lot of space. And through our research in manufacturing and, and a lot of the Asian markets as well is that uh, we really need to have a, a smaller form factor where the robot could fit into tighter spots. Uh, primarily in machine tending and circuit guard testing applications like we're demonstrating here. Brilliant. I mean, can you give us a quick demo just to show, 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 yeah, show sure. it mo moving around? So, uh, somewhat similar to Baxter, uh, it has the same exact software. So, if you can use Baxter, you can use Sawyer. Brilliant. And uh, it's a seven degree of freedom arm, which has a lot of maneuverability and versatility in, in the different motions that it can do. It is a compliant arm. Okay. So, every joint has a spring on it. Right, which okay. makes it uh, primarily it's safe to right. work side by side with so it can detect when it bumps into a person so I'll just do a quick demonstration of that no so it sounds good I mean um, but the, obviously uh, I've got a quick question about how, the actual load so how much can it, how much can it, can, it, can it pick up oh, okay. so it can it can pick up about four kilograms okay of weight is the max payload its precision is 0.1 millimeters, so it's right. a very precise robot um, compared to Baxter, which was designed around for more gross tasks like packaging, right. uh, not requiring a high, high amount of precision. Right, yeah. And, and, and I, as I just saw that as, was, as you were speaking, it was banging into you, but it was bouncing back again, yeah. Exactly. So, so the safety there, I suppose, which is the key thing. Uh, like, what's the total weight of the robot? Sorry? Uh, like, the total weight oh, of the total robot? The total weight is yeah. 19 kilograms, 19 kilograms for, yeah. for the arm. And, and is it the same sort of price as Baxter, or is it is it, is it a bit cheaper, a bit a bit more? Or? It's similar in price. Uh, where on Baxter you have two arms, so you require multiple grippers. Yeah. Uh, so the, the price essentially equals out. Yeah, equals out the same. Yeah. So just just give us like a typical example of where you'll see what 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 what, what you actually see a Sawyer in, in in action. So we typically see Sawyers working in machine tending applications, yeah. where working CNC machines or uh, taking parts off of conveyors, putting them into some type of test station. So for example, like an electronics test station like this, uh, PCB board testing applications where uh, many factories have people that are standing there and just plugging these boards into testers all day. Yep. And it's a repetitive task. Uh, people don't add a lot of value where a robot like Sawyer or even Baxter um, it can fill that role and people can go do more complex tasks. Okay, brilliant, brilliant. Okay, Mike, that's a brilliant overview. Thank, thank, thank you very much for your time. You're welcome. Brilliant, thanks guys. I hope you enjoyed the interview and I want to say a big thank you to Mike Fair from Rethink Robotics for his time and the interview. If you want to learn more about Rethink Robotics, I've put in links below for your review. Now, if you like this interview and want to see even more robot news, reviews and tutorials, then please hit the subscribe button to get up to date with the latest videos that come out. 
If you have any questions or want to see a product review of a particular robot, then please write me a message in the comments section and I'll see what I can do. Thanks guys, looking forward to see you next time.